guys is welcome back to hut market guide boys and today what i'm going to show you we're going to talk about some prime times how i want to work the prime time market and pretty much we we have 29k we sold some cards we sold a lot of cards so the pretty much i sold all these cards last episode if you guys didn't see that go check it out this is when i sold pretty much all these players these all these players sold in the market the players that i actually picked up they all sold as you can tell so the only have we only have three players that we didn't sell so I'm gonna throw them up I'm gonna throw that prime time up too we got so if he does sell we get some good coin balance too on top of that but we're gonna work the market on the prime time so I'm gonna go to the prime times and then we'll show you what's out today and we're gonna look at what's on the market and what should you pick up and how you're gonna pick it up and how you do it I'm going to show you that right now. Let's go. Okay, boys. So the prime time market is like this. So this is the players out right now. And all you need to know is pretty much two synergies to look at pretty much. This is how I've been kind of working the market in the prime time market because it's easier to work only two synergies than all the same. You can work all the synergies. I can work all the synergies. But I find the synergies that people want right now are two and they're the all the speed boost. So this is the players right now. I'm gonna show you the two players that right now are, or three players are really good in this right now, and what the value is right now in the market, and then we'll look how we're gonna flip them. But let's go look at the market, and it will be back. Okay, guys. So pretty much here's the prime time market. Uh, the only two synergies I actually look at is this one right here because some of these players do go actually high, really high in the market. And sometimes you can f actually find steals in the marketplace with these players. Sometimes you can actually find crazy steals with this. Like, as you can tell, people are still, like, you look at this person, only one on the market. You can, if you can have enough coins, you can pick them up and flip them for the most m amount. I picked up Todd Batuzzi before. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Now he's, you know... You can flip them that way. I picked a bishop, couple bishops, and I did the same thing. So it's the way it is, you can find the marketplace. So this is where I kind of use the marketplace on this side to make coins too. He's a new guy in the market. It's only three on the market. Uh, his, his buy now is 74K. But if you look at this, he's actually going to be a high, he's going to be really high in the market. He's going to probably go over 100K. So that's another thing. So we're going to look at the second best synergy is this one right here. And you can get some really good steals off here too. I found a lot of good players and I flipped. You, this is like in one right here. You just have to wait to see when you can get them. But he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Only three in the market. And they're all in the exactly the same time. He's going for 45k. So... What you do, you kind of watch these. I think I'm going to try to flip them. I think I can make some crazy coins on them on this account. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at him too. He's at 45k. Let's see how many on the market. You know, I look like low overalls. What's his speed? He's 86 in speed. It's not bad. And he's a defense. It's not bad at all. But what's his? He's 86 in speed too. But he's a forward. I think people don't want speed. Uh, slow people on defense so that's what it is I didn't really look at him <clears throat> what's your value to 45 and because he's a defense yeah because it's defense defense is slower I find so we're gonna look at this 20k we're just gonna look around till what well, we have what nine three minutes I think I'm going to wait for three minutes. I thought he was actually at like 5k. I was like, what? <clears throat> 86 in speed. Interesting. Why? What? The same value of a card. And they're basically the same value of each card, but he has a high overall. That's interesting. 
I don't know if I want to now. I'm, I was kind of baiting it now. Kind of debating it, but I think we're going to try anyways on that. I think we're going to try to flip them. We can, but the thing is, if I can't find good steals on this, then we'll work the, either the rest of the market on this. But I want to see if I can get that guy cheap and then see if I can flip him for some coins. See, like, what's his overall? How many on the market? And how it's his overall? 83k, yeah. So I think the 86, 900, 1000. Okay, so we have a minute. So we're gonna go for the bid and then I'll bid at the like couple minutes and then I'll show you where, how to work, the, how to work if you do a bid. Well, if you do a bid, I'll show you how to do it. And then how to way you do, do the bidding war on a card. I'm curious. I'll probably put them up for 25k if I win it and see if somebody buys it. But I'm not going, you have to have a max price that you're going to go on a card for it. So we have like a minute on it. So I usually kind of not bid right away on a card. But you can tell people want them. You can tell people want them, but he's not worth 50k. This card's not worth 50k. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bid now on the card. We have three minutes. We're gonna go to the bidding war now. So we bid on it, go to the bidding war, and you just take your trigger here and you just move it up and down till you see your card appear. I'm probably gonna, the highest I'm gonna go, it's probably 5K. Till your card appears. If it does appear, then you're not gonna wanna buy it. So it appears you keep going. So I'm gonna go, I'm kinda gonna raise him on this. See how, if he's really want this card. Because if he really wants this card, then you know, you. you it's gonna happen. The card's gonna come back. But if you raise him and he doesn't want it, okay, so he really wants it. So we're gonna go 499. Close to 5k. I said 5k, but I might go a little bit over. Depending, because it's only one on the market it has a 50k buy now. So let's see. Will he want this card more than 5k? Or will he let me have it? Under 5k. I got it under 5k, boys. Under 5k. Oh yeah, we have this card too that we won. I can actually put this card up too. I know what the value of this card is going for. So we'll make some coins on top of that. Okay. So we got a primetime card. Under 5k, because he's probably guys like, I don't want this. So I'm actually going to throw it for 25k. So then we're going to go to the next one. Let's see if that sells for 25k, it's a bonus. If it doesn't, in the first hour, you just all you do is you throw it back up again for another 25. If it doesn't sell for the second time for the, for, in an hour, then you rate downgrade it to it, but you don't know the people don't know the value of this card. So because the buying max price now is 50k, so people might you know want the card. I'm gonna do the same thing on this. We're gonna try to get two of them. I won't put this card up till the second the first one sells. So the first one sells for 25k. Then I'll put this one up at. 25k so we're gonna put our first bit on this if I get it cheaper that'd be great I don't know if I will no oh yeah I no that was my other card that's the other card I bought so let's see if I get a bidding war on here if I get it for a thousand that'd be pretty sick because sometimes you have to work the small parts of the market to me till you hit the big parts of the market so it's always a good thing. You work small, you work up big. So I'm just gonna keep spamming this till my card appears because I know how much time's left. 
it's at 13 seconds so I'm just gonna spam this I'm probably gonna get it under a thousand a thousand K so I made two steals on a card that I could go for 15k to 25k I'm just gonna wait and the cards mine so I got it for under a thousand K so I have both of them I set them so it's one card now up there so I have a card for 25k and I have another one for a thousand I can put up in the market anytime I'm gonna wait so we're gonna go back to the prime times <clears throat> you can work any market you want you can work any synergy you want let's look at this guy he's going for 15k I might take a bit on that 30 39 put him up for 25 will he sell we don't know I don't have 25k so it's kind of good shot uh, let's keep going let's keep looking I don't have much coins so that's why I'm kind of working the smaller market I'm calling That's his buy price range. That's his price range. Okay. So that's what people are saying that value of that card. Interesting. It is kind of interesting. What are you going for? There's a lot of you on the market. Sometimes you can find some good steals too. That. Like, you know, people kind of just don't want the card and they just want to get rid of it really fast. So you like, you have to look at this. Oh, what is, what is cheeseburger going for now? Nothing there. He's actually, actually had a good one. There's so, it's only two in the market. One for two hours, really. What's your speed? You're 84 in speed. Interesting. I'm gonna put him on. I usually put a guy on a watch like this and I, will, I come back. But it's only like two, three in the market. So I was like, I kind of come back on him. Just to be kind of interesting to see. On like the player. Like, see if like what's really going on. If. People really kind of value that like that. And you have to understand too, some cards don't have value because of the, of the synergy. Too. Some of the synergy, sometimes a card doesn't have the value than a regular card. And I found out sometimes, look at this, one on the market, 9k. Vancouver Canucks. He's fast, he's 86. He's good for the, the fourth, third line for a starter team. It's only one. You can make some good coins for cards like that. But what's his, like, is his, that's the question. His, if you buy that and his price range is not like that, then the card's kind of worthless on that. Oh, my buddy Catlin. Okay, let's see how many on the market. Three. I might actually take a little spill on this because I like this Kaplan card. <clears throat> I'm going to value him at. Let's see if that sells for that. And you can do the same thing. You can buy this card, right? Same thing. You can have two Kaplans and you can have them at, this, at a certain point because his max is like, what, 50, 50K or something like that? So like, you can. Value the card like that. So we pretty much in 12 minutes we have two cards and you never know. These could sell. Like if you really look at Kaplan. He's at 86 speed and 86 acceleration. And you put have spark and other synergies on that. He's definitely higher in, in speed. He can still keep up on, on a team. That's why I like that Kaplan card. I look at the I look at the stats sometimes people don't I wish I had enough coins because this that would be a nice deal yeah let's keep going sometimes like you look at the small cards too 
You see, it's like a thousand. People sometimes buy these cards. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> 2K, you know, you see a guy is bidding 2K, and you see a thousand 2K. And you, I kind of go like this. And I go like this. He's slow. Being on defense, he's slow. But then you look at him. Lots on the market. Speedster. That and then you put another synergy on that. That's pretty fast player. I don't know if you I think his he has a price range. That's why he's kinda set like that, right? Oh, he's at 50k. Interesting. Really interesting on that. Definitely interesting. Only one on the market. Okay, wow. Definitely wow. We still really need a comparative season. It'd be really cool because you can use some of these cards that we don't use just sitting on the market. And you can actually, like, if you have cards that are, like, low overalls, you can work pretty easily. Sometimes you go for the small ones, and you never know. I'm going to go, actually, 12K to see if that sells. You get some extra coins on that. Sometimes you never know. People will people are weird. People will buy a card for cheaper in the market. CC's not bad, but he has sell acceleration is slow. As I'm saying, sometimes you see low overalls like this, and you don't know, but sometimes people do sit by the low overalls. Because, oh, this guy has spark, you know, and this might help my roster for the fourth line. You know. Because now people are trying to put spire and spark on and synergies that kind of helps their team. So they're looking for that player. I think, yeah, I think, I think, let's look at spark. See what, how many on here are going high overall. He's at 5k. Interesting. For, because that's interesting boys, because that, you look at a goalie like this, has that synergy. Like you can add that synergy to your team. Like he's going for 55k. See? Because he has a low aggression, that's why. He has a low aggression. I think he has a higher aggression. Yeah, he's a 90 aggression. That's why he's going to low. Then he's going for timeout. What? <coughs> a low aggression. Six foot one. And he's going for 10k. Okay. That is really interesting. Picarena 80. I don't know. People value cards like they don't. Like this versus this card. High aggression, low aggression. Then you look at this card. I don't know. I think people value the cards differently in stuff. I think. It's only go it's only goalies there. Let's see what here. I remember him going like sixty K to start. He was going pretty high in the market back then. Now he has a different card out. That's why his value dropped a lot. It was 
good card to pick up. I'm just looking on the market just to see. He has an outer card out on the market, so. You could. What's the max? 19k is the cheapest. 17 is the cheapest. So if I can get this card for cheaper in the market, I can put him up for 14k maybe? And make a little easy flip. Because this is the synergy that people kind of just look at. It's like, I think that's a good card. <laughs> but they don't see that because they want a card that is just like definitely higher in the value of a card. Okay, let's go look at this. I know that tons are, they're usually tons. You can get like them like probably sometimes cheap. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap. Like 5k. People sell, just selling them because like we bought, people bought so many of them. And it was like a waste, I guess. Okay. Hmm. I'm just looking. You just have to look. Sometimes deals come out out at you that when you don't see it in front of you. Wow. So I think buying cards on Sunday with the prime times on Sunday is not a good idea because the more they get released, more on the weekend. Look at this. The deal, there's a deal sitting right in front of somebody's face. Right in front of somebody's face. Right here. That's a steal right there. That's a steal right there. I might go back to my other account and buy that. <laughs> That's a steal. Okay, so nothing really on that part. Let's go here. 85, 19K. I usually do this once in a while, just go back and forth. That's not gonna be a steal at all. Like you can value, you can go, you can say, you can put this card off like 2k. I have a couple of this card just sitting in my inbox. Uh, I just buy cards just to think, wait. Sometimes you never know what EA will release or put out or they'll have a competitive season. And it's like you need a low overall players. So then it's like this goalie be more valuable. Because people want them for their team to get that synergy unlocked. Or. Something like this is more valuable to somebody's team to get this synergy unlocked. Like that's what I'm trying to think. Like cards like that are more valuable. So if you have them already in your collection. You can you can make that more profit from EA. From having them cheaper in the market because having a card is 4k right having a card 4k and you flip it for higher in the market it makes you makes it more valuable than not doing that but anyways i think this is pretty much it i can't really do too much on that right now till these cards sell i'm probably just going to keep putting them up in the market i'm probably going to throw them up for 12 hours but let's look at the seven ones. I'm, gonna, know, I'm just not going to do that. We're going to go. We're just definitely just going to go like this before we end it. Because people are ripping packs. We're going to go base cards. We're going to go NHL. And let's see. So this card is definitely more worth that. So we're going to pick him up. We're definitely going to pick you up because you're more worth than 950. 
Uh, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna buy you. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna see. Can oh no, okay. So people are buying these cards. Okay, so if I can buy you, I'll just throw you off fast right now. Can we make some quick coins from doing that? Okay, so that's what it is right now. Okay, if I go a thousand, what's up on a thousand? Nine fifty. I'll take that. I'll show you why I'm buying those cards in a couple of seconds. In a couple of seconds, I'll show you why I'm buying these cards. Any more Phoenix Coyotes? Maybe Nashville on here. A Montreal guy for a thousand. What is really his price is going for? Okay. I value cards differently right now. Now that's a card you can probably flip for higher after a certain point. Like this card, you're not going to get to. I'm looking for Calgary, Nashville, Montreal. That's why I'm keep looking. That's why I picked up some Nashville player, uh, Kale or uh, Phoenix Coyotes players. Like this guy, he's going for a thousand. There's twelve on the market. You can probably wait and flip him later. You can probably make more with him later. There's a Mike Smith. Somebody just threw up because they're opening packs. They just don't even know. They're like, just want them out as their pack. So I'll take them. <coughs> and I'll put them back right back up. And I guarantee that will sell. As you can tell, these are the people who are opening packs right now. Right here. All these people are opening packs. So they're just literally throwing these cards up in the market. Not knowing the value of them. Look at this. Just throwing these cards up, not knowing the value of a card. So what I'm going to show you is. And like, I can go on probably for like an hour doing this. Like, oh my God, I'm going to buy this guy right now. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna. Oh, what? Buzzelzer? Why? Why is he here? Yo, watch. <laughs> I can. I'm gonna make coins on top of the coins. Watch. I'll just throw them up for that. It's actually really funny to see this. What people value their cards of. They're not knowing. They're just throwing cards up in the market. Like you can flip cards faster than just doing that. I'm just trying to find the right price right now. Okay, so this is the 50 minute mark right here. Dougie Hamilton at I'm gonna go look at that card. It's an E3 overall, Jamie Ben. Let's see what he's going for. 29 the market. Let's see what his value is. Oh, I hit the wrong button. It's probably gone. Nope, because, yeah. So let me bought him. His guy is going high in the market. I'm gonna buy him. My bottom. Okay, so let's go. Let's just stay here for a couple seconds. Nine fifty. Okay. Gone. Because I'm at the fifty minute mark, so I'll see the card before somebody buys it. As you can tell, these cards are still up. Like, 
Like, even Ottawa is not a bad thing, but I'm looking for, like, as you can tell, like, these cards, look, see this card's here? Watch, it's probably gone. See? People are put buying these cards because they're cheaper in the market. And end up putting it back up. And people are buying all these cards at a thousand K. Cause they're like, oh, we're just gonna make some quick coins. Cause not wait, we'll just wait for that. It's gonna, he's gonna, somebody's gonna put a card back up for a thousand. We're gonna definitely look at the cards that we bought too. Okay, let's go look at the cards that we bought in the marketplace. So these are the cards that we bought. So all these cards from from here on today we bought. So we're gonna look at the players that we bought in the marketplace and we'll be back. Okay guys, so let's go look at, I'm doing the set thing. So we're gonna look at the plays, the players that we bought in the market and see what the value is. So we're gonna actually look at these players that we bought because I'm curious why people just don't value the cards. So Dougie Hamilton, <coughs> and then we're gonna look at the Nashville guy too. So we're gonna look at Dougie Hamilton first because look at this. Look how many are on the market. And what we're gonna do too, we're gonna scoop these cards up right now too. We're definitely gonna scoop these cards up too. Cause I'm gonna make some quick coins on top of this. So we're gonna make some quick coins. So, okay, so let's, we would scoop that up. The cheapest on the market right now is a thousand K. So we're gonna flip Dougie Hamilton For that. So let's see if that buys. This guy is going for grand total. I'm gonna wait. So we're gonna wait to sell. Let's look what he's this guy's price going for. Okay. Fifteen on the market, we're gonna wait. Let's look at this guy's card, this value. Okay, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on three cards. Dougie Hamilton, I'm not gonna wait. Look, 2K, 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 1,000. I'm gonna buy. I'm actually gonna buy another one. Because they're all 2K. So we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this card at this price. <clears throat> you gotcha? Okay, <laughs> so. Oh, something sold in the market. What sold? Bazaar. So we're making coins already. <clears throat> so this is a lot of coins are gonna be coming in when everything sells. <clears throat> it's not going to be right now. It will be. So, guys, this is the episode. Hope you guys enjoy this, guys. Don't forget to like it. Do subscribe because we are definitely hitting 7K so soon. If you guys keep hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget, follow me on Twitch. I do live stream every single day. It's UG Dynasty on Twitch. I'm out, guys. Peace.